Welcome to Extraordinary Wines. This is where I put you squarely in the know with one extraordinary wine. Before we get started, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell on your screen to get notified each time a new video is released so you can drink better because you're worth it. Today's find is a wine that put Rioja wines as we know it on the map. Stay tuned to find out more about this extraordinary wine. This one right here, Marquez de Rascal Reserva, is a bottle that put Rioja on the map as we know it today. Back in 1858, the winery, Marquez de Rascal, was founded by a gentleman who had spent time in Bordeaux. So he brought back the Bordeaux know-how on how to age wine in barrel to Rioja. In 1862, the Marquez de Rascal wines were released and these were the first ever Rioja wines to be bottled. And within five years, they began winning awards. The wines were so highly regarded that by the early 1900s, the wines were wrapped in gold netting to protect the bottles against counterfeiting. To uncork the bottle, the net would need to be broken. And that gold net is still on this bottle. And it's something that the wine is known for all over the world. Marquez de Rascal is also known for its gloriously beautiful winery. In 2006, the winery unveiled a luxury hotel in Rioja for visitors of the winery. It's a marvelous structure designed by the famous Canadian architect, Frank Gehry. According to Gehry, the building's exterior reflects the colors of the wine. The huge titanium panels, tinted pink, represent the hues of Rioja. The silver is meant to be the foil that covers a cork, and the gold represents the zigzagging mesh that covers the bottles of this world famous wine. This bottle is a benchmark for quality in Rioja wine, and it's available in more than 100 countries now. So all of that history and beauty is captured in this extraordinary wine. So this wine is made primarily from Tempranillo, 96% Tempranillo. Not only that, but most of those Tempranillo grapes come from vines that were planted before the 1970s. So that's old vine fruit. That means small concentrated berries, lots of extract. So you can tell immediately in the glass, it's quite deep, quite dark. And this is a 2016. So we're already dealing with a wine with some development and yet the rim doesn't show amber at all. So it's still a young wine. This is a, a nod to the aging potential of this wine. On the nose, this is interesting because it's quite muted, delicate. It's a, you have to work for those aromas right now. There is vanilla and cherry cola, blackberry, now the vanilla is a testament to the fact that this wine spent a couple of years in American oak, which is a classic Rioja style and scent. Let's taste it. Mmm, mmm, beautiful. The texture is so tight and lovely, not tight in an acerbic way, but held together closely knit. And um, the texture is sort of like almost cashmere-like. It's quite smooth. Love that. Mmm. And the fruit is understated. There's cherry cola again, black cherry, blackberry, vanilla, a touch of maybe burnt sugar, but this is a bone dry wine. So you're just getting that nuance. And again, the cola nut is there on the finish and underneath all of that you're getting some minerality so you're getting a hint of slate maybe 
and a touch, a touch of rubbed oregano. This is lovely. Let me taste again. Mm -hmm. Lots going on. It fans out with all sorts of nuance. And it's, you know, the structure is perfect. The acid, the heat from the alcohol, none of that stands out at all. It hangs together beautifully. And the texture is really quite seamless. So here are three easy snacks that go really well with this wine. Now this is a wine that has great acidity, wonderfully mouth filling, but also mouth watering. It cleanses the palate. So you can go with richer foods. And I've got three here as examples, starting with Manchego cheese. Now this is a youthful Manchego, three month old. So it's, um, you know, it's creamier, a little bit milkier than something that's more aged. Magic with the vanilla notes in this wine. Or this is breadsticks wrapped in prosciutto. Now prosciutto is a very fatty ham. Again, the same reason, the mouthwatering acidity in the wine offsets the fattiness and it works marvelously well. Or for something plant-based, hummus. The texture and nuttiness is perfect with this wine. So there you have it, a great wine of beauty and history. The 2016 Marquez de Rascal Reserva is one extraordinary wine. Now, which of these three pairings I suggested would you most want to taste with this wine? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell on your screen to get notified because I'm coming right back with more amazing, extraordinary, wines.